So this is the 2015 Nitro Zero. Uh, the Zero is predominantly a freestyle binding, but you could use it all mountain. It might be a little bit soft though. The high back, you've got the Zero high back, which is a medium, softish flex. It's going to be really good for freestyle. It's going to really help you tweak out grabs. And it's also got an asymmetrical flex, so it's going to flex in different areas to give you different response. Plastic chassis with an aluminium heel cup, same as most nitro bindings. Uh, gives you a blend of freestyle performance and a nice bit of power when you want it as well. Oversized heel strap, really nice and comfortable, not too stiff, quite forgiving. And you get nitro's two, two position toe cap as well. So you can either wear it over the toe and it will conform to your boot or in the standard configuration, however you want. Really high quality buckles on these sound really nice and you also get in the footbed you get three degree canting and air canting as well which puts your body in the most natural position helps take pressure off your knees adds a load of comfort and really gives you a lot more performance as well you also get the nitro mini disc on these ones now the mini disc is a much smaller disc than a normal disc means you get less contact with the board, so the board flexes in a much truer fashion. You're not going to get those dead spots under the bindings. The Zero is not really a free ride binding. We wouldn't put somebody who wanted uh, an aggressive, uh, had an aggressive style on this sort of thing. Uh, it's going to be too stuff, soft for you. But if you're an all mountain rider or a beginner would be really good with these as well because they are nice and forgiving and easy to ride. That's the Nitro 2015 Zero Bindings. I'm tough with myself. I'm tough with myself.